corruption. It is taking undue advantage of one's position, whether that be in the government or whether that be you know, outside the government, whatever, um, for personal benefits and in that process hurting others um, directly or anyway. I would say it's deprivation of poor people's rights. I mean, uh, it's, it's also cheating on our money, our tax money, and things like that. Uh, favors are done to, to friends um, instead of maybe what they should be doing or, or at the time they should be doing, they, they expedite uh, the, um, the, the procedures for, for maybe some friends or you have to know someone in order to get the service that they should provide to everybody. So yeah, anything to do with uh, utilities and, uh, and access to water, because the actual water connection itself, having to pay for it, or when you go to pay your bill, you have to pay something under the table. Uh, corruption means uh, taking, uh, being, uh, making decisions based on uh, being enticed by some type of uh, it, can, it can be monetary or whatever but the decision is not based on facts it's not based on anything but based on when you are being enticed to make a decision it's the influence of private interests on laws or regulations either to influence the development and the makeup of those regulations or to evade um, those regulations if you listen to some politicians say in south asia somewhere who go out in an election and say, <clears throat> I'm going to stamp out corruption. You know that they are equally corrupt as the ones that they are attacking. Why? Because if they were not corrupt, they wouldn't have enough money to run an election campaign. I guess you know the honor system in school where you don't cheat off your neighbor's paper. It's just like not doing that, not using any sort of tricks to get ahead, just doing all of the work by yourself and not like stealing from other people anything that they've done and taking the credit for it. The first thing that you have to do is not, not engage in those kind of practices. So, uh, because, um, and then uh, you should try to get some kind of transparency of how they do things uh, just let everybody know what the procedure is what are you are what are you entitled to as maybe as a client just to get uh, the, a sense of, of of information to everybody that's uh, i think that with information uh, <laughs> most clients will, will be able to to, uh, to ask and, and and just get what they deserve as a, as a normal regular client the, the principle is there not to not to pay the bribes, um, but obviously we can't control what people do. You know, you can only advise and uh, work on the advocacy level. We work previously on the right to water and sanitation, which has a lot of the same principles governing how to implement that as you would have for um, ensuring uh, that there is no corruption. It's, it's about participation, information, accountability, transparency. Um, yeah. He said legislation, regulation. Uh, judicial policy, they all need to work in some sort of coordinated way. You can't uh, isolate one from the other. Just like to add one more, and that is the importance of accessible science uh, in terms of detection and uh, the importance of informed public opinion. Uh, if you don't have that, then you can't have good legislation, particularly as legislators come from, uh, uh, shall we say, a non expert pool. That's one. I also believe that it's something that is um, not very easy to tackle because people don't want to hear the word. It's difficult to fight it, or you, you, the, there's always a balance. Okay? You have to do your work, you have to get your work done. Um, so do you spend the whole time fighting the system, um, or just avoid it? For a lot of parts, we avoid it. For example, as an NGO working in Nepal, um, if there is any, any place that where corruption can come into, we avoid such projects instead of fight going in and fighting it.